What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are week seven into eternal evolution and last week things really did slow down but they're starting to pick up again and we've made some big progression so if i just have a look at heroes so last week we were stuck at like 200 and it took me two weeks to get from 180 to 200 and somehow we managed to jump 20 levels in a week I have no idea how I've done that, but we've done it. Um, so yeah, 220. And yeah, that is just like massive. We are really speeding up the pace now. Um, I think it's going to take me probably two, maybe three weeks. So week nine, week 10, we should be at you know, 240. We should have hit the cap. We're fully maxed out. Um, and that will mean that all our abilities are at the max. But also... If we come into our bag, we will get hyper evolution. I have no idea what this means, but I'm sure it's going to just obviously massively increase the power level of our heroes. And also just any content that I'm struggling with, I should be able to sort of breeze for it. So like if we look at campaign, you know, 9.4 mil versus 2.5 mil, almost four times my power level. And it is a bit of a struggle right now. So hopefully it should help with that and we should smash through this when we start doing our hyper evolution and also just maxing out our heroes as well will help with that as well um so let's talk about some strategy so the first thing i'm going to talk about is shop so the shop now i stopped spending diamonds in here i think it's good to spend your diamonds here early on in the game um you know you just get so many diamonds thrown at you however i'm not getting as many diamonds now that diamond farming has definitely slowed down for me and also I'm using my diamonds elsewhere. There's definitely ways to be more cost effective than just splashing your cash here. It's definitely not the way to go. So literally all I'm doing is I will buy the rubies here with my with my gold and that's it. That's literally what I'm like. I don't need anything else here. Um, and you know, I, I just don't want to, I just don't want to spend in there anymore. It's, it's a waste. So what I am doing with my diamonds spending them in the lost valley so fully buying all the stamina that i can for that um and then buying all the stamina that i can for uh yorva lepi yorva lepi so yeah that's where i'm sort of spending at the moment then what my plan is so once i you know once we're maxed with your lepi and i don't need to farm rubies anymore then i'm gonna be heavily investing into the triangle um but yeah holding off for that now um you know we'll start farming that gear hard and fast and also when we're a bit stronger as well because i think the furthest i am in the game is like level three so when we're when we're stronger then i want to invest a bit more as well because we'll be getting better gear as well so it makes it makes sense to me so holding off on that for now so that's the shop that's our diamonds so commander's post so we have actually hit level 50 on our first commander who's uh orbeck and yeah he's pretty boss um i really like him and what's great about this as well is now that we've um hit level 50 of him if we come to the guild you unlock um class technology so it's a little bit annoying because you sort of can only do it on anyone that's level 50 so i would only do it on the ones that you really use the most and it's for it's all about pvp nothing here is for pve which is a little bit annoying because that would massively help with progression in pve is what it is um but yeah so you can start maxing this out and i had loads like probably had like 50 of these uh gold bars i'd like 120k of these purple bars so sort of put all of that into Orbeck and I do use him a lot for Arena so he's great so that's really worked out nice for me and that's why I was heavily invested into um Sinsara's Marsh so basically my strategy was I was like in Disa Caves uh sort of early on to build up all that gear farmed loads of gear then when I had enough gear I sort of obviously I was doing Sinsara's Marsh and Terra Dome on the side then 
I started putting all my stamina into Sincera's Marsh. I'd done a little bit into Terra Dome as well, because you need a little bit of balance. But now, um, yeah, I've heavily invested into Sincera's Marsh. Now that I've hit level 50, I'm going to start investing more into my prototypes. Um, you know, basically we get, is it, yeah, in here. So in the uh, blueprints, if you get sort of certain combos and when you level these up, you get extra bonuses as well. So it's really, really important to make sure that you're doing that. And I'm going to show you guys a big mistake I made. So I got my first mythical um, prototype. And if we click on advance, you get these universal crystals. I was stupid. I wasted a load of these on epics when I should have saved them and used them for my mythical. Um, you know, I could have easily got this to like level four and that would have unlocked all these evolution stars for me. Just the biggest mistake that I've probably made in the game. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure you hold on to these universal crystals. Do not just spend them nilly willy. You need to save them. They're so, so important. But um, yeah, and prototypes, they are really good. But um, I don't know, I've just been really, really lucky with them. And I feel like you don't need to focus on them as much as Sincero's Marsh. However, you know, like I said, I am changing my focus from Sincero's Marsh into um, into the Terra Dome. So if we just come back, actually, let's look at Lost Valley. So Sincero's Marsh, we've made no progression. So we're still at EX1. I'm going to start need to do some research now so I can sort of push into EX2 and EX3. I don't know if it's just the... I'm not using the right combo of heroes or they're just not strong enough right now, but that's something we need to look into. Disa Caves, I cannot do EX1 for love or money. It's hard. It is just unbelievably hard. So again, I need to look into that. Uh, I think I'm just struggling with, there's like an insane amount of um, shield points we need to hit and I'm struggling with that. So I don't know what I'm missing from my team comp. Maybe if I just had some life steal, that would solve my issue. Get rid of the support and just have like, you know, four hunters and a tank. Terra Dome, we've gone from level 14 to level 15, so not a huge amount of progression. But I really want to jump to level uh, EX3 just so we can start to farm the universal crystals. Because like I said, I really need those for my mythical um, prototypes. So... Let's come out of all of this and have a look at the heroes. So hero wise, you know, not a lot's been happening, but I will sort of touch on my favorite one. So let's sort by quality. So Botmark, I've got a lot of love for Botmark. Um, I don't know, he's just so basic. He is literally a glass cannon on legs. But he's sort of falling off a little bit now, not really using him as much. Uh, Serena, absolutely love her. Still using her quite a lot. Um, just such a great hero. The healing that she does is insane. And she's only, um, you know, she's just, you know, a normal hero. She's not SSS. Uh, Vengus as well. Great, great hero. I'm using him loads. Need to try and max out his talents because he is doing so much work for me. He, and like I actually had him almost it's weird like I didn't realize I had him almost full naked and he was carrying hard so yeah geared him up obviously Anpu S tier god tier hero um he is wow 28k attack absolute god tier um one of my favorite heroes on the account just an absolute boss invest in him as much as you can he will take you to places you didn't even know existed Artas, he looks so cool, but he doesn't, he's not really doing much for me, to be honest. I'm, I'm not really using him. Randall, hate him. Absolute trash. Ravenar, an absolute beast for Sincero's Marsh. In, I've just, I went ham on her, invested as much as I can to get her up to scratch. Absolute boss. Falva, I don't understand her. Just awful, awful hero. Carmore. So I just want to do a little shout out to uh, Master Styles. He was saying that um, I was calling out Carmore saying he's trash. He's confirmed 
that he's trash. And he's saying that I should take, you know, take the resources that I have on Karma off of him and um, put them. So basically I should reset all these talents and then put them on other heroes. I completely agree with that. And that's one thing that I really love about this game. And you guys need to always think about this in eternal evolution is that how can I, you know, take these resources, you know, this game, you've got so much flexibility. So I can just take these talents that I've put into him and put them onto other heroes, my best heroes, because that's what we want to do. We want to focus on our best heroes and put our resources into them and not into some garbage um, hero like Carmore. I don't think I can reset um, the his um, exclusive, which is a little bit annoying because it means that I've sort of wasted a lot of runes on him. It is what it is. And it is a big mistake that I've made. Another another mistake made by the real deal. Um, but take that away. Um, he did sort of help me with progression. But yeah, awful, awful um, hero. Orthan, broken as anything. Absolutely love him. Um, yeah, whatever I can. Like I've put gene hybrids into him to help level him up as quickly as possible. Um, did temper with some gear with him as well just to boost his stats. And he's at 1.1 mil HP. He's probably one of the best well-built heroes on my account. But yeah, absolutely god tier. Um, he is a hard carry. It's so weird as well. Like he brings so much to the table. He's got a resurrection, a knockdown. Um, and like he can just survive. He's just so tanky. Um, I just, I don't know what they're thinking when they made him because he is so broken. But uh, yeah, love all fan. And yeah, I think that's... Re oh, Jax as well. So we unlocked Jax this week as well. Um, yeah, just pulled... I saved up a hunt. So for two weeks, I sh saved up on shards. Um, so had like 120 limited recruitment cards. Um, so pulled those on Skino. And then, you know, we bought Jax. And then um, I use a gene hybrid on him as well. This guy is so strong. I cannot get over it. Like he's only mythic, not even like plus one or or not even legendary. And he's insane. And wow, I've not even got talents on him. And he's just <laughs> no exclusive either. And he is so strong, just unbelievably broken. I've put some insane gear on him. Um, what gear set have we got? We've got um, extraction. So basically when a summon uh, receives critical hit, Heals for 5% of max HP. Insane. He's just so good. Just one of the... Also, another S-tier hero. So, I definitely would recommend, as soon as you can, get Jax. He will, again, take you to places you've never been before. So, let's see. What else has been happening on the account? All right, guys. Back into border. And so, we got... Tri so, we looked at the triangle and, like I said... So sort of level three is the max where you are at the moment. We've spoken about the Lost Valleys, Crimson Abyss. I've jumped up from level five to level seven. Um, I, let's see what, what's level eight looking like. 10 mil. I feel like we're just not quite strong enough just yet to get through. But this is the team that we're using. Jax massively helped with progression here. So again, like I said, make sure you get him as soon as you can because he's going to just make things so much easier soul mine we've had a huge jump um just gonna quickly look at my notes i think we were at like 305 last week so we've jumped to 360 and um, that's a huge huge jump and again you know we're just picking up loads of rubies on the way ancient altar we are now one key in hell um yeah that is just massive. So we jump from hard to hell now. I'll quickly show you the teams that we're rolling with. So first team, just obviously just need one healer, three supports and a tank. Number two, we've got um, two summoners, an assassin, a tank and a healer. And then number three, we're going for single DPS. So Vanguard, tank, support, assassin and then bot mark and we are just one keying it now so 
this is massive for week seven. Um, if we go to hell, you can see, look at all the juicy rewards that we're getting. So, you know, we're getting uh, shards, we're getting parts of gene hybrid, getting mythical gear, but those are sort of the, the most important things are the shards, gene hybrids. So now that we can one key this, we can one key everything. So getting some runes as well, runes great for exclusives, more shards, more shards, more runes, more shots, even the epic runes. I need those right now. So is that's even going to help? And then just sort of trash at the bottom, but still every little bit helps. So can't complain. So we can one key all of that. And I will drop a, a more in-depth video with every single hero that I'm using and the team comps as well, just to help anyone out there that is stuck on ancient altar. Exotic exposition. Uh, this is a great place to farm just getting so much from here it's helping with awakening my heroes and we're currently wank uh, wank rank we're currently rank nine so um that's really good as well we're sort of getting loads of uh coins is here so that's going to help with our awakenings an arena let's see if we can find madrid where are you madrid show yourself um, but yeah, ah, oh, there he was. We just missed Madrid. So for those that don't know, Madrid is my rival. This guy is an absolute monster in the game, a beast. And I cannot beat him. He is unstoppable. All right, let's just come out a second and see if we can find him again. Where are you hiding, Madrid? There he is. He's 1.3 mil and we can't see what team comp he's got but this guy is on another level he is just a boss so if we look at my team i'm at 2.3 mil and i cannot beat him um so i'm almost double his power level and madrid he's my rival i hate him but you just wait madrid one day i'm gonna be so strong i'm gonna be an unstoppable force and you won't be able to touch me. So you wait, you wait, you wait, Madrid. It's coming. Um, for Galactic Arena, we're Master 26 right now. I guess it doesn't really matter if we progress any further than that. You can see like here, you get the same amount of rewards as long as you're in Master Tier. Elite Fighter, we, we've not progressed. I'm number one at the moment though. So I'm hoping that we can um get into the next stage because we'll also get um these cards as well these red ones the name tags they are so good in the shop so really want to grab some of those but with madrid's in the squad not happy about that i'm hoping i can actually beat him um but yeah num we're well, number one right now but there's definitely going to be some hard fights coming up uh, to be fair anyone that's like three mil and above is going to be a hard fight so it's going to be it's going to be tricky but yeah if we just look in the shop though yeah if we can get some of these red tokens first thing i'm going to focus on is the um the trophies and then and trophies and keys sort of they work in harmony so get a little bit of a little bit of column a a little bit of column b and then once we've uh, gotten stronger there then i'll probably i'll take the astral cards over um coraxia just because it it makes more sense to me i will be able to get more from the astral cards than from from these so it just it just makes sense to me well that's pretty much the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure to smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you all in a video soon peace